Now, when I say Dobby was playing the long game, he really, really was playing the long game. This plan of his was perfect and excellent. The way he executed it, the way he finished it, it was great. Before we even start with the video, what's up guys, the Red Cloak here. And today we're talking about the MHA spoilers for 290, which shocked everyone. It actually went trending on Twitter. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to make sure to stay notified whenever I post another video on MHA or any type of content you guys like. And we're gonna start with that intro. Yeah, hold up, what the fuck? Hey, bass in the trunk. Yeah, shorty wanna fuck, but I'm busy getting bucks. You know my fucking name, you know my music bumps. You hate my fucking shit, you a motherfucking chunk. Hey, ooh, yeah, damn, Billy stay high like a kite. Yeah, bitch, I blew up overnight. Yeah, you know the world around town. Hey, my damn is bright like a light. Yeah, my music different, I'm right. Hey, my music different, I'm right. Yeah, who the fuck else sounds like this? Hey, my music different, I'm right. Yeah, I don't give up. The first manga panel that actually shown is Rei Todoroki, which is, you know, Todoroki's mom, Shoto Todoroki's mom, and Endeavor's wife. And while in Rei's room or hospital room, we can actually see Dobby on the TV and we can actually just see or know that Dobby is actually broadcasting this live to the whole Japan, basically exposing the fact that Endeavor's his father and what Endeavor did to Dobby. To be completely real, Dobby's gotta give props to Skeptic. Skeptic's the one actually making this happen, actually making this broadcast to everyone. Dobby actually does say in the dialogue, which is actually translated, I, Toya Todoroki, am the eldest son of the Todoroki family, and basically, he has killed 30 innocent people, and that's not really that much, I thought it would be more, but who cares. When Giganto Maki arrives at the League of Villains, Todoroki actually just sums it up just saying he can't beat Giganto Maki and Shigaraki, so he does a combined effort with Nedre to actually get rid of Shigaraki, which doesn't work because Giganto Maki actually swoops in and grabs a Shigaraki. This actually pushes back Shoto and Nedre, and then we see another scene with Ida actually carrying Bakugo out of the battlefield and Bakugo just wakes him and just says put me down four eyes but Ida just says that basically your intestines are basically shredded because of that one attack that Shigaraki did to him so he can't really go back to the battlefield which is kind of good I don't think Bakugo should really go back to that battlefield because he's gonna get even more injured and Debra actually says Dobby but Dobby just says no 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 don't call me that I think Toya Todoroki is a better name he just pours his liquid substance on his hair which makes his hair white which I'm surprised. I thought his hair was red because of the anime, but I think that was just a difference in the anime. If I could, I would show you guys the shock factor of Shoto and Endeavor's face in this panel, but I can't really show it because, you know, copyright issues. But still, the shock factor on their faces sums it all up. I haven't seen Toroki like this for a long time. And can we just give a round of applause for Dobby for actually waiting around for 100 chapters plus for his old plan to go in fruition? This plan was epic. I know people were just saying, well, it was pretty obvious this guy was Toya Todoroki. It's just the shock factor in Endeavor and Shoto's face. I think Shoto may never repair his relationship with his father ever again. And right now, I think Endeavor is going to lose his hero license. He's going to lose everything, lose his trust from Shoto, his wife, his own children, because this just came up. Endeavor is just trying to live his life, trying to make up for the past things he's done. And the past thing that wasn't gone just came back to bite him, which was Dobby. Dobby basically being Toya is one of Endeavor's sins. It's one of his sins that's not going to go away unless Endeavor confronts it head on. And I think society is going to lose it after hearing this news. The number one hero, their protector, has not only a dark past, is an abusive parent, and one of his children that he abused is now a villain on the front lines of a war. The main reaction I want to see is Natsuo's. Endeavor's other son, because I don't think Endeavor's other son, Natsuo, is going to forgive him after he finds out that Dobby, aka Toya, is a villain because of what Endeavor did to him. After this panel, Dobby breaks down dancing in front of Endeavor and Todoroki's face. He's basically just smiling and laughing while dancing, while these guys are having the five stages of grief, and he's just dancing in front of their faces. Dobby, in my opinion, was more dangerous than Shigaraki. He had more dirt on the Hero Society, dirt on Endeavor, he probably has dirt on Hawks if we were being honest, dirt on the Hero Society for even putting kids in this war. He was just more dangerous than Shigaraki, if we're being honest. He's gonna put Hero Society to his knees, but Dobby's still a burnt bum. Anyways, these are the spoilers for today. I'm gonna be out of here. It's been the Red Cloak. If you guys want me to go on the official release on Sunday, I'll probably review that. It's been the Red Cloak. I'm gonna head up out of here and peace. Yeah.